Now I'm gonna be digging my utility lines. Smells like Dookie. Looks like Dookie. So it is Dookie, just so you know, but here, try to give him a view down there. This day has just been one of those freaking days, man. Ugh. Thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. So before actually starting this video, I wanted to say thank you so much for 100,000 subscribers. Y'all are amazing. You are an amazing community. Thank you so freaking much. Let's continue growing this channel. Share it with everybody you know. Drop likes, comments, and everything in between. So thank you so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart. But why don't we get on with the video? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I'm super duper excited today, and I'm going to tell you why. I always do. Today I'm going to be using the Mini X, which is the Mini Excavator, and I'm gonna be digging my utility line. So right behind me, there's a part of the house where it's connected outside, which is connecting inside to where my actual breaker box is in my garage. And you've gotta actually dig a trench and connect it to the, I guess you could say the light pole, which is like the closest area that has electricity coming from it, from the road. And then EPB, which is my local uh, internet, electricity provider, everything provider, comes in and they put this power line underneath the ground. They're gonna connect everything and then electrician can come in and really get this house rolling. We can finally get lights in here, we can get things moving, and then HVAC can come in and turn that heater on for you, or a little bit of air depending on how the weather is. But anyways, I'm gonna be digging some utility lines. I'm gonna dig out my sewer line as well, which is over there to my right, um, and then I'm gonna dig out some holes in the back for my deck that's coming up. So a lot of digging going on. Got the Mini X over um, in front of the house, and I'm just gonna go over there, get it started up, and we're gonna get straight to work. y'all so i got the mini x over here and just to explain a little bit better what i was saying in my introduction so you've got this coming out of the wall right here so what you're going to do is you're going to have everything set up on the outside it's going to go down and it's going to go underground all the way to that electricity pole right there and then i've got my sewer coming out right here so i need to dig down and get this running um, to that city tap in over there that we have, which is great because city uh, sewer is always better than septic just because you don't have to pay like seven grand to get a septic tank installed. So that's always a winner winner seafood dinner. But anyways, I'm gonna get straight to work. Not a lot of talking today. Gotta get into it, gotta get in the mud, literally. I'm blessed to be able to have a brother who has a mini excavator um, and a skid steer on my property. So anyways, I'm gonna get straight to work and we're gonna keep progressing.
Alrighty y'all, so I'm completely done digging this entire trench or ditch, whatever you want to call it. Um, and the minimum is 30 inches is what they tell you. And then they run it again, like I told y'all, they'll run some wires down, they'll drop them in the ditch, and then my electrician will actually connect here, go up, put the meter box and everything like that. And then you'll be able to see those wires running all the way through there, all the way up to that pole and everything like that. And it's going to be underground. As you can see the houses around me, you see the wires are above ground. They're kind of in the air and just connected to the side of the house. But mine's actually going to be underground. That's the new way of doing things. And I like it way better because you're never worried about like if a super tall truck or something comes over here. Like you can almost see like if a super tall truck came through here, they could almost hit those power lines going across the street, which is not ideal. So anyways, less worry, new way of doing it. Really excited. Can't dig the sewer line just yet. Um, so hopefully it's supposed to rain today. They're supposed to come out to install this. So we'll see how that goes. If they install it, I'll show you. And then I'll be back filling all of this dirt, getting it back out. And then I'll be able to dig that sewer line, making sure that I'm getting it connected to that city sewer. So really excited. Can't wait. Good progress. Let's get back to work. Alrighty y'all, so the electrician is completely done setting this for me right here and it looks really darn good. They got everything connected to the ground rod that's going over there. I'll be able to cover this entire trench up, clean this area up, and then finally be able to get into this sewer area um, and then where my water line is actually going to come out and get all that connected in and we are going to keep progressing. This is amazing. A lot of progress being done. Glad I could get these utilities dug out. Glad I could get uh, the electric, you know, progressing. This is very exciting stuff. I mean, it gets me closer to finally being able to move in but anyways i'm gonna head inside see what they're doing in there and we're just gonna keep moving Alrighty, y'all so i'm back at the property and it's time to get that trench backfilled so i actually bought some diesel which is super expensive right now but it is what it is when you got to get to work you got to get to work so start spending money but anyways we're gonna get this fill up the mini x with a little bit more diesel backfill that trench and then we're just going to keep progressing and then i'm actually going to try to find that sewer tap in off of that manhole on that road over there on the side of the house where all the wires and everything were connecting and we're just going to go from there so let's see what happens and we'll just keep progressing So we're gonna get this entire thing backfilled. We're gonna keep progressing. We're also gonna get the sewer line dug out. We're gonna get all these utilities done. Then I gotta go to the back and get all the little holes dug so that we can actually get that back deck done as well. So a lot of digging to do, mini X, skid steer, all that good stuff. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so we have dug literally everywhere. Can't find the freaking sewer tap right now. I've looked on the plans and everything. Um, and so look, this is what we got going on. So I'm like, look, we gotta open up this freaking manhole. So now I'm in here, literally, we took off the manhole. It smells like dookie, looks like dookie. So it is dookie, just so you know. But here, try to give them a view down there. Nice width of that. Ooh, smells good, don't it? Mm-hmm, yeah. Fresh, fresh air in the morning. It's like, uh, what is that? Cow manure, except it's human manure. So I guess that works too. Alrighty y'all, so unfortunately we have dug to where you could go find fossils from like 400 years ago. 
So right now I'm actually gonna wait on my brother. He's gonna try to help me find this thing. I have literally, we've measured off the manholes. We've measured everything we could possibly measure. Cannot find it. My brother's been a builder for a really long time. So he's gonna come out here in a little bit. So during that time while we're waiting, I'm actually gonna go dig out the little holes for where my back deck is gonna go. And I've gotta get some quick reap for that. I actually have a few bags left over for when I was doing something else. Can't remember what it was but I'm gonna actually go dig that in the back while we're waiting on him to come help us out. We'll see what happens, man. Like, I just don't wanna freaking rip up this entire light pole that's in the way right now. So it is what it is. We're gonna get straight to work. Let's head to the back. Alrighty y'all, so I'm here in the back and I've actually got this all marked out with my guy who's doing all the framing. He gets all his guys set up and everything like that. Um, got the lumber package on the way, so I'm gonna get these dug out. Gotta get them filled with some quick reek, get it nice and firm. Um, gotta have a solid foundation, anything in life. And then we are going to get this back deck done. It's gonna be Trex, it's gonna be beautiful, but this is just about digging. So anyways, let's get to digging and we're gonna keep progressing. Alrighty y'all, so I've got these marks everywhere. Like I said, I went through with my framer, got everything marked out. These are where the posts are actually gonna be. So we're gonna get to digging, get this knocked out. And by that time, my brother will be here to help me out, helping find that sewer tap. And we're just gonna keep progressing. Gotta keep working, man. Construction sites gotta keep moving. You can't stop. When you start stressing out too much, the build stops, literally. So let's get to work. Alrighty y'all, so we have hand dug every single hole here as seen on video, just kidding. Literally, we've definitely overkilled it, but I will have a hot tub on this deck, so I wanted to make sure that it is nice and sturdy. It's gonna be huge. I mean, I think it's 22 feet in length and then 12 feet coming out. So I wanna make sure it's nice and sturdy, whether I'm living here or whether somebody else is living here. I mean, literally look at the size of this hole. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to use quickery or if I'm just gonna call in a concrete truck. Like this is freaking humongous, but we got done with this, excited about that. Gonna get all that lumber and everything ready for the deck guys to come out. But let's go in front again to show you the sewer area as well. All right, y'all, so brother came out. He thinks he may know where it is. So I gotta take off this entire super huge line. Um, big shout out to him stopping by. That's actually his truck over there. Show him the truck real quick. All right, come back over here. That's how they get to see. Um, so we're gonna actually remove this, dig in between those two areas right there. Um, and I think I'll be able to find it, but we shall see. I really hope we find it because finding the sewer is a big thing. You don't want to, I don't want to EPB. This has got this huge light pole in the way, man. So a couple issues, but we're going to overcome them. And um, this is what we're taking off. So literally we're about right there. Let's see, getting close. Thing's pretty heavy too. Ah. Let's see, come on. There it is. This is safe, I promise. You don't want to be digging around that thing and accidentally snip it because then you got to pay for it probably. So anyways, we're going to keep digging here. It's going to be great. So that means we're getting close or we're getting too close to the road. So we're going to find out here shortly.
Archel, so we literally found it. Oh my gosh, see, that's why you call your brother and ask him to come help you because we were stressing out out here. So me and my main man, Paul, we found it. We got the edge of it. Now I'm gonna dig that nice trench all the way to the house. We'll show you what it looks like in there. Once you hit gravel, you typically know you are hitting the sewer. So he's gonna jump in there with the camera, show you what it looks like. Then we're gonna get this entire trench actually dug out. Oh my gosh, we finally got it started up. This day has just been one of those freaking days, man. Ugh. Anyways, I'm not mad at nobody. Not even myself, okay? It's just one of those days. Gotta keep pushing through it. We're gonna get to work here. Alrighty y'all, so my first time digging a sewer trench turned out pretty darn good, I think. We'll see when the plumbers get here to actually connect into that tap. We'll see what happens. But again, just to give you an idea of what's going on here, there's the connection for me. There's my manhole. It's said on the paper that this was supposed to be 18 feet out here. This is literally like maybe nine feet which that's why I started digging out here. That's why we got all this going on. Um, so the paperwork from the city actually wasn't correct, but it's okay. We found it, we found the gravel, and that's usually how you'll know you found your actual sewer tap in right there. Got it dug with that fall going from the house. That way all of your waste goes into that right there. Got to get it cleaned out a little bit. Um, as we got right here, we've got a shovel, just get it kind of knocked out. Um, got my man Paul working right here. And we're just gonna get this nice and smoothed out, get it cleaned out so when the plumbers come, if we need to add some gravel underneath for that pipe to sit on, we can do that. But for the meantime, we are doing a great job. The day definitely turned. It didn't start out good, but I tell you what, it has taken a complete twist and we're just making good progress. So a lot of digging going on in this video, but let's keep doing it. Good, baby you know what's going on subscribe like and comment all right y'all so while we were doing that i actually was like holy crap well i'm gonna have to cross over and actually dig my trench for the water line as well so i might as well do it right now so what we got we hand dug it with the shovel just kidding we used the mini x you know big shout out to my brother having all this equipment but let me show you this black box right here actually with how this works so we got I guess you call it like the temporary water that comes out right here and this is where you hook up uh so you can do all your you know all the jobs that are happening but this is what's inside of it so if you've never seen here go inside here and just kind of show the mystery black box you got all kinds of stuff who knows what it is a little bit of dirt and they just put this black box around it then you hook your water line up to here and that will go all the way to your house and basically you'll have water so very excited with getting this done the sewer trench dug and the electrical wiring and all that stuff and my fiber um, which is the red cord or whatever you want to call it the red pvc pipe um pex pipe i don't know what it is that gummit but regardless all of them are done and i'm happy with that On 
wanted you to see what it looked like when the guys came out and actually installed that sewer pipe okay so check this out there it is connecting to my house and this is just a clean out so once the inspector comes i'll be able to actually backfill all of this be able to cut that down and you won't see this huge thing sticking up but i want to walk all the way alongside the matter of fact why don't we jump in the ditch and i'll actually take you all the way through here and show you how it was connected and this will all be backfilled obviously but it's connected into there so everything is falling down so any waste coming out of the house is falling at an angle and they put a little bitty level on it every let's say you know 12 feet or whatever it is so all of that waste will be falling and going down into here so i'm just trying to show you what goes into actually building a house Alrighty, y'all so it is time to finally backfill the sewer the inspector came out literally like 20 minutes ago gave us the inspection tag that said passed so we are good to go we can cover it up and then we can get those electrical lines covered up as well that are all over the freaking floor as you can see here so it's kind of crazy you just got to keep moving whether it's raining whether it's sunny and we do love when it's good weather because everything dries out and you're not walking in mud pits but anyways i gotta jump in the skid steer get all this backfilled get everything done and then we can finally be done with all of this utility stuff and like digging the back deck posts and everything and be ready for what's coming next so anyways very excited for progress progress is key so you gotta keep it moving so anyways let's get to work Alrighty y'all, so finally got everything backfilled to the point to where I can. I'm gonna leave this ditch or this trench open here by the water because I still have to drop the water line. So I might as well leave it open. Ain't no reason to get it all covered up and everything, but I did need to cover it up just a little bit over here so I could go back and forth. And I still got it open to where it's gonna be running along the sewer line with a little bit of dirt in between because they do need their own area. So I'll have it about eight inches to the left of the actual sewer line. Got it all done over here. You can see that clean out over there. Got my man Paul back there. We got everything literally backfilled. So happy with the progress of everything. Got the, um, I guess you could say like the huge electrical wires back to where they need to be. Got everything right there. Got the fiber cable in there for the internet. So really happy with how the progress went with all this stuff. Um, going to have to do some more rough grading and then the final grading, obviously, when we do the actual landscaping for the house. But this is all about digging utilities and making sure all the wires and everything are good and the sewer is good and how to find sewer and how to find all your utilities. So anyways, really happy with the progress, but let's end out this video. Alrighty, y'all. So I'm really excited with how everything went, really happy with how I was able to get everything knocked out, get everything tied in and just keep progressing throughout the build. But regardless, if you did enjoy the video, 
video, make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you follow me on all social platforms, especially TikTok because it's so easy to film, edit, and post on there. If you haven't yet, check out nicospropertyshow.com. Grab you some merch, maybe a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, and use code Nico for 10% off your entire order. Without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.